<laughs> oh, I'm having lots of fun down here at Wheelie Fun. Hey, if you come down here, I don't know if you're allowed to ride the bikes to the store or not, but I just got on this bad boy and took her for a spin. Tell me a little bit about this, Bob. Hey, how you doing, this Doc? This is Bob, the owner, sole uh, proprietor. Uh, we've got a few of us who work here okay. full time, so okay. yeah, I, I can't say I do it on my own, that's for sure. But well, what, what is what is this thing all about? This uh, sure is a bright baby. It's your color. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now this is a perfect bike trail bike. It's uh, a okay. yeah, it's a Sun Drifter. It's seven speeds, so you only have one shifter to worry about. You don't have to worry about gear combinations. You just put in the gear you like, and you go. The neatest thing about this bike is the seat is set back. Uh, normal bikes, the seat comes straight up from the crank set here in line. And why they set this back is it allows you to be able to sit on the saddle with your feet on the ground, and then when you pedal, your, your legs are still at the proper yeah. extension. On a regular bike, if your legs are at the proper extension, you can't touch the ground. So this gives you the comfort factor if you're riding with Jimmy or Johnny or your little girl, you can just stop, put your feet down, and you don't have to worry about tipping over. That's so. always nice, not to mention that that, that rod that goes in there that can cause some kind of problems from yeah. time to time. It's a I'm little gonna, slacker geometry, so you I'm don't I'm going to set this that. one over here, and we're going to talk about some of these other bikes you got. Cool. I'll tell you what. This thing is light. I mean, it almost feels like it's lighter than air. Uh, what, what's the design and material? How do, they, how do they make them so light? Well, this is a, a bike from Canada. It's semi-customizable. It's all carbon fiber frame, and how they do this is they actually lay fiber in one half of a mold. Yeah. They lay a balloon over top of it, and then they close the mold with the other part of fiber. Actually inflate the balloon and heat the carbon fiber up so that the rosin bakes. So essentially, this whole frame is one piece, whereas we're normally used to tubes welded or bonded yeah. together. This is actually one, a one-piece frame. So I'm it makes it extremely I'm surprised it can light. hold you up, must let, you know, tolerate the bumps on the trail? Is it strong? Too? Oh, it's, it's fantastically strong. It's stronger than steel. And the neat thing about fiber is it's much like uh, if you bang a steel pipe against the ground, you yeah. know how you vibrate your hand. Yeah. And if you did a PVC pipe, it just kind of makes a thack noise and that's it. And that's what fiber does. So it takes all that road vibration out of the way. So if you're on the bike for a long time, it's a very comfortable ride. So okay. light, stiff, and, and really absorbent as far as shock. Is this a, a high-end bike? Is this for mainly the people who are the, the biking enthusiasts that come in your place? Or? Yeah, this one's more of a triathlete's racing machine. Uh, this guy, as it's decked out now, is about a $6,000 bike. Okay. So this would be a real hardcore enthusiast bike. Okay. We start bikes th for the entry-level racer and enthusiast, uh, you know, about $600. The bike you rode in on is about $300. Okay, So we That's have reasonable. every level. Sure. So. Uh, you mentioned bike racing. Yeah. I understand you're involved in bike racing. You have a, a team that you support here as well? Right. We have two teams. We have Wheelie Fun uh, Racing, which is a bike racing team that's uh, been in existence for about three years now. Okay. We do real well regionally with that. We've got guys at every level of that, from entry level to some of the top athletes in the region. And then we also have a triathlon team. And the triathlon team, we really shine there. We've had you know five people at World Championships this year, a uh, woman on the podium at the Ironman in Hawaii at Kona. Wow. So, really, that's our team there is, is superlative, one of the best in the country. What's your role with that team? Are you the coach? Are you the sponsor? What do you what do? You do? I'm a little bit of everything. Yeah. Uh, primarily, what's neat about our store is we're still all athletes. Everybody here still races in one form or another. So, I, I race, I coach several of the athletes uh, as well, and as the shop, we sponsor the team, too. Okay. So, we're involved kind of at every level, which makes it a lot more fun. Describe what a race means. How far are they going on these bikes when you say a race? How, how long? What's, what's the distance? Well, a short race for us would be about a mile long swim, a uh, 25 mile bike ride, and a six mile run. And then the long course, the Ironman course that most of the people ascribe to or really want to do well in, that's a 2.4 mile swim, 112 mile on the bike, and then a full marathon, 26.2 mile run. Wow. And I've had athletes going from our team as fast as nine hours and 30 minutes. So, yeah, now, and you've done that? I've done five of those. Okay. So it's a gas. It's a lot of fun. And you still do them? Yeah, I'm signed up for uh, a major one in Canada this August. Wow. So, so you're going to do one. Takes a sp I have no <laughs> desire to do that. I mean, and I'm a pretty dedicated person, but I, you have to be just at a different level to, to commit to that, I would think. Because I, 
It doesn't take as much time as people think. If you're training well and you're coached coach properly, about 12 to 15 hours a week is what it really requires. Really? Yeah, oh, and that's goodness. about for about nine months commitment, though. So okay. it gets a little hard. Here how, and how did you get into that? Were you? I saw it when I was a kid on okay. TV, and I thought I always want to do that. And how old I, were you when you did your first uh, Iron Man? My first Iron Man, I was 30. Okay. And uh, I had seen it for several years, and it was the first time in my life I actually had the time to commit to it. Were so. you an athlete in school too? Did that lead into that? Yeah, I've been in endurance sports. I did my first triathlon when I was uh, 15 years old. So. Okay. Off and on through my life, I've been more or less involved. Now, the people you coach, do they mostly have an athletic background, or are they people who just want to get fit and continue to progress? A little of Some both. variety? Yeah, I've got, uh, I coach for Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Uh, it's a philanthropic way. It's free coaching from me. Yeah. And you fundraise for a free trip to somewhere in the country. Wow. And you get taught from being, I've had people who couldn't swim one length of the pool, who at the end do the mile swim, the 25-mile bike, and a 10K run. So I do about 100 team and training athletes a year, and it's probably my most fulfilling yeah. because these are, coaching athletes is easy. You just have to get them in the right direction and doing the right workouts, and they want to do it. To get somebody who's been 20, 30 years sedentary yeah. off the couch and to see them finish, why, you know, they shock themselves, and it's just that's, that's really where it's at for me. Different story. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to have you park this thing. Okay. I notice it doesn't have a kickstand, and I don't want to drop it <laughs> because that's pretty expensive. Uh, so I have you put that one away, and let's let's take a look at uh, at this one. You know, this one feels even lighter than that one. It is. This is one of the bikes that a pro team called CSC uses in uh, the Tour de France. So some of the top athletes in the world ride the exact equipment that we sell. Okay. This one I just brought out because it's real neat. It's a carbon fiber frame. It's lighter. It has the traditional road race handlebars and the shifters up here instead. Outstanding. So one of the this is probably one of our more popular lines right now. My goodness. They have bikes starting at about $2,000, and this is, again, in the 6000 range. Okay. This so. one's in the 6000 range? Right. Okay. I just brought out the really cool one. Sorry. Well, let's put <laughs> this one away. I'll put this right back here. Okay. And I understand you have your own design. Right. Bike. We and just, once again, this one's lighter than all the other ones. This one is mine. <laughs> uh, I, I would think for, uh, for more money, you'd get a heavier bike. Uh, but that's not how it works. It's kind of like golf, you know, it's just the opposite. Tell us about this one, Bob. Well, what we saw was we saw a real hole in the market. We were doing a lot of our custom bikes that were coming from out of the country. The custom builders in the U.S. were very pricey, and so what we thought we could do is find a local builder, somebody who'd had experience with titanium and aluminum yeah. and steel welding, and we got a guy who worked for GE and still does, and myself who's been designing bikes, and our, our whole concept is when you come into the store, if your body type either doesn't match something that's on the rack, or if you just want something perfect, we measure your body, we talk to you, we figure out what kind of events you want to ride, what kind of distances, how you're, are you physically strong, are you lighter weight, how God put you together, and we build the bike around you. So you'll notice some neat things, like there's no stack here, the stem is all the way on the frame. This frame is overbuilt here for somebody with a stronger leg who likes to push down harder. And so we pick the material, the tubing diameters, the length, the geometry, all specifically built to the person. And the neat thing is, is this bike actually is less expensive than any of the other ones we looked at. Wow. Uh, and it's, so it's handmade in Ohio. Okay. It's made specifically for the individual. And we can actually do it at, you know, a price that beats a lot of the big um, high-end companies. What's the price tag on something like this? The frame and fork custom would be about $1,800. Okay. This one is 45 to 6 depending on what wheels we put on it. Okay. Hey, how yeah. do people find out about you? Do you have a website? Right, we do. It's wheeliefun.com, and most of our advertising is word of mouth. Okay. Uh, we just started selling some things on the web, more commodity items. I'm much more a fan of hands-on, let's get you what you need. Oftentimes people will see an ad or, or think that this is the bike for me and they buy it without doing the homework first or they buy it from another store that doesn't take the time to measure them and they end up getting a totally completely wrong bike and so they're unhappy with their purchase and and we guarantee that if it's not the best fastest bike you've ever had I'll take it back. Hey what a lot of fun down here at Wheelie Fun. If you're looking for a bike you don't have to look any further. Come on down and see Bob. He'll get you fixed up. Matter of fact I think we're gonna come back here and see Bob again and see what goes into getting fit for a bike because you want to make sure the trike 
is, is the right trike and it fits right. You with me? Come down and see Bob. He'll take care of you.